Hi, so welcome, it's uh, Dan here. Today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change the oil in my uh, Shelby GT500. I have a 2021 Shelby GT500, and I just got it up on the lift here. It's a little bit tight in here. I don't like to go all the way up. I'm always afraid the, the, the stop bar up there is gonna hit. So I keep it, uh, you know, off the ground. So I still have to kind of crawl underneath it, but um, just wanted to uh, just show you we're gonna do an oil change today. And the Shelby's, they're a little thirsty as far as oil goes. So yeah, it's, uh, it takes all 12 quarts. Never run anything but the manufacturer's recommended oil filter, Motorcraft, and the uh, full synthetic 5W50 motor oil. She does take 12 quarts, a little bit less than. I love running this MOA. I don't know if some people have heard about it or not. BG makes it. I think it's a great product. I was sold on it a million years ago. I've always run it in everything. I run it in obnoxious over here. Um, it's got a Pro Street 347 stroker in it with a big supercharger and uh, meth injection. I run it in that. I run it in a Super Snake over there. You can see um, I've run it in all my boats. You know, anything that takes oil, I pretty much run it in there. Um, I've just seen tests and documentations and, you know, I've read literature on you know the what it does to your internals and how it coats them and you know how good it protects everything so um that, that's about it so here's what it looks like underneath the shelby gt500 there's not really a lot exposed so this has track pack so it has the extra you know chin spoiler and stuff Some wide wide tires but yeah as you can see everything underneath is all kind of like flat coated. It's all stock except for uh, cold air JLT intake that I have. But, you know, all factory exhaust. <laughs> I do love these meats. <laughs> yeah, so 15 inch millimeter wrench. I'm just going to drain the oil and um, get her filled back up. Get her out of here, maybe go for a little spin today. Awesome, thank I you. I did want to point out, Ford does mark the um, the oil pan and the oil pan drain plug. So you know you're tight enough when the two yellow marks line up. So I did just want to point that out. I almost forgot about that. Okay, and now while the oil is draining, um, we're gonna start getting the oil filter housing ready. So you do need a little Torx head. Um, already loosened up to that guy right there and drop this little trap door down that just comes out just like that Let's slide that over there so we don't lose it and there it is right there so it's really difficult so I didn't start it and let it run I'm hoping you know uh, all the oil has just obviously been settled so I'm hoping I'll make less of a mess because the last couple times I've changed the oil, you know, I try to put up some like little deflection devices. So when I pop that off, uh, cause it's just a canister that goes inside that housing, uh, it doesn't drip all over the place and get everywhere. So um, we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna get it all protected in there. I'll throw some towels and some old rags in there and uh, we'll get that process going. <laughs> we'll see how we do.